Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to part six of What If Naruto Was the Ultimate Uchiha, made by yours truly, Harry Fox. Go down, check out the thumbnail guy. I keep on forgetting to shout him out. Dyslexic Dolphin, he's in the description down below. He's actually a lifesaver, he's a real G. And he's been there for me. Well, he's supported my YouTube more than most of my mates have, if I'm being honest. Except for like one or two of them. But other than that, let's don't want to waste most of your time. Hit the subscribe button, like, hit the like button. It is the, probably most likely the final part. And yeah, let's get straight into this. Last time we left off. Madara Uchiha, saw on the Tento, was finally using a bit of the Nantos chakra. I mean, it was incomplete. ASMR. Sorry guys, I'm back. My PC crashed. <laughs> I was going to do an ACMR drink like I usually do in all the parts, but my PC crashed. <laughs> and I just lost, not a lot, but a decent amount. I lost the whole if. A new one, but it's fine, it's fine. I didn't like it anyway. I was going to, I wasn't going to upload it. Anyway. Naruto, I mean, Madara using Naruto's Nantos chakra, or so let's say Kurama's chakra, created an incomplete uh, ten tails, which he did in original canon, as he couldn't get the entire nine tails. But with that, the ten tails were created screaming. Thus, when everything began to play out similar to be, similar as in canon, the ten tails was there ready to dominate, kill everyone there. And Naruto was there with his running gun activated, <laughs> ready to stop this killing. The Ten Tools created a Byujidama, or a uh, Tail Beast Bomb, and sent it flying towards them. Naruto went ready with his almighty push, launched it up, and he actually, he actually blocked the first one. Naruto said, impressive. Let's see how you do against two at once. The Ten Tools then launches two. Naruto unsure we can stop it. Not scared, as he's pretty 100% confident his Susano can. Before any of that happens, the entire Allied Shinobi Alliance, yes, it's all there. Remember, they, uh, I'm going to say that already was an alliance, but because the war started, they all finally showed up. They all get teleported away. As Minato finally shows up, he was off with actually a rope Jamaro. And the first Akage, second Akage, third Akage appear. Along with someone that Naruto has been waiting to see, Sasuke. But his face looks different. He looks darker. And he sees a weird mark on his neck. And he's standing right next to Orochimaru. Naruto soon realises what happened, but he doesn't have time. He turns back to Madara. And says, what now Madara? Still like your chances? Naruto says, and Madara replies, they are supreme. Do you really think... Four more shinobi could stop me. Naruto says, maybe not, but you're forgetting. Each sh each one of them shinobis count for a thousand. And me, I count for a million. Murado starts laughing, saying, quite confident in yourself, aren't you? And before he can finish, Hashirama appears and launches a massive wooden dragon at Madara, making them two go off into the distance and bring their fight. While... Everything is going the same as canon. This gives Naruto and Sasuke a chance to talk. He rushes over, but Orochimaru gets in his way and says, I don't think so. But Naruto is not in the mood. He dodges and weaves, grabs Orochimaru's neck, knees him in his face, seals part of his chakra and slams him into the ground. And he looks him dead in the eye with a death stare. Don't get in my way. Seeing this, Sasuke was impressed. Naruto was clearly a lot stronger. As if it was back to when they were before he left the village, Orochimaru would have easily killed him just then. Naruto looks at Sasuke with a death glare. What do you think you're playing at? Orochimaru's little bitch now, are ya? Sasuke says, I did what I had to do to become powerful enough. To find the cure. Sasuke, Naruto says, what? A cure? That's when Naruto sees Sasuke's eyes, and again, Kurosharangan. 
the pattern that he didn't want to use. He understands it now. It was Sasuke's pattern. But what could happen for Sasuke to awaken his Sharingan? That's when he realizes. Where's Where's Itachi? Hearing his name, Sasuke's eyes glare. As a black flame shoots at Naruto. Naruto using the Nine Tails Chakra slaps the flame away. Catching Sasuke off guard, did he just slap away Amaterasu? That's impossible. Naruto asking him at the final time, Sasuke, where is Itachi? Sasuke explains how Itachi had a deadly illness and is currently at home with Orochimaru in a, well, in a tube, keeping his health at least sustained until he can find a cure. And that cure is most likely going to be him giving up his life. When he says this, Naruto slaps him at a speed Sasuke couldn't react to, even with his Sharingan activated. And then he does it again and again and again until Sasuke finally blocks. And Naruto says, see Sasuke? After slapping you so many times, you finally reacted. I wonder how many times it would take me to give you a speech, to slap you, or for Itachi to say himself, what are you doing? You see how strong I am. Do you really think I wouldn't be able to have a cure for Itachi? Look at my eyes. That's when Sasuke finally notices, notices the, the Renegon. How? Impossible. Naruto says, with this power I can, I can heal Itachi. But no, you put shame on the Ichiha name by stooping to Orochimaru's standards. Naruto at that time stumps Orochimaru's head, creating it, causing it to explode, which quickly regenerates. Naruto glares at Sasuke and says, You, I'll deal with you later. Right now I have a war to fight. And afterwards I'll heal Itachi myself so you can tell him what you did. So you could find the kill. Sasuke's entire life choices for the past five years have just been shattered. Everything he did to find a cure for Itachi was pointless. All the strength that he had gathered, his readiness to give up his own life. To give up his own body to, to, and give it to Orochimaru. That was all pointless. But that's not the time to think about that. Naruto is now off fat in the war. He's activated his link with Kurama and he's now running in his nine tails form. And he surrounds it in Shisui Susano. Actually. No, he surrounds it in Atachi Susano. In me memory for him. Seeing that, Sasuke is just dumbfounded. How can Naruto can change it? How can Naruto use so many Susanos? He That's Itachi's. <clears throat> but Naruto doesn't care. He's running, and as while he's running, the legendary sword that Itachi's, I forgot his name, appears in the Naruto's hands, and he jumps and swings down, slices one of the Tentails' tails, sealing it. Naruto seeing the strength that this weird blade has, he realizes it isn't time to play, and he does the hand signs and absorbs what's left of the Tentails inside himself, making him the Tentails Jinjuriki. His running on is now glowing with pure power. As he's laughing evilly. He's, and he's just laughing. <laughs> uh, you really thought that you could stop me, boy? Look at this power. I am the next sage of the sixth path. Nothing can stop me. Madra lunges at Naruto quicker than Naruto would think. And he couldn't react in time. Of course Naruto would be able to block it. But some people didn't think he could. Some people being Sasuke, and Sasuke jumps in the way of the blow, getting his chest impelled. Naruto seeing Sasuke's body standing there, basically lifeless. Although he was, at that moment, had a bit of hate for him, that was still his little brother. Naruto looked up at his selections. What's happening again? Last time he lost his temper, the eyes were changing. And it goes on to the next stage. The Red Running Garn. Seeing this change in ca this change catches Madara off guard, and he ch the best he can do is activate Infinite Tsukiyomi right away, and that's what he does. Naruto gets wrapped up in it. He doesn't at all attempt to move. Not even affected by the Genjutsu, as his he's running on is far superior to Madara's, even the red one on his head. He just stares at him directly in the eye. Madara, I mean Sasuke and Naruto, time distorts them. 
Mere seconds go by, but for them, it was hours. Floating in a pit of doom. More of Naruto was in his own pit of doom, while Sasuke was in the pit of death. That's when that happens. The mysterious man from before comes to both of them. One to, one to Sasuke, one to Naruto. And he says, we all know what he says to Sasuke, he gets told the same thing. Except if Sasuke gives a dead answer, he wants to protect the leaf village. And he goes to Naruto. Naruto, I'm the sage of the Sixth Pass, I'm sure you know who I am. Naruto laughs and says, huh, pretty sure. Kurama briefs Naruto on that. Remember Naruto? Kurama briefs Naruto on who the sage of the Sixth Pass is. And Naruto says, so you're strong enough to be in this war, why don't you? And the sage of the Sixth Path replies to Naruto, Well, my time passed long ago, so right now all I could really give you is pass you my power. I've given your friend Sasuke one half, or at least a piece of it, but you seem to be strong enough to handle the entire thing. Hagoromo places his finger on his head, and the red circle that was there, he slowly peels it off, like, you, it was like a weird binding technique. He peels it off and he places it onto Naruto's forehead. Power surges through Naruto like it's never before. This power he's never felt. It's it's legendary. It's the Sage of the Six Paths. When this happens, Naruto sees all the other eight toed beasts on his back, all channeling a chakra into him. And he breaks out of the Suki of the Infinite Sukiyomi, Shroka Madra. Murata can quickly see the change in Naruto. His chakra is purer, calmer, and also that red circle in his head is a bit distracting. As well as, Naruto has a new cloak. He has the Sage of the Six Path staff in his hand, and his cloak on. And Naruto yells at him, No! This is what the Sage of the Six Path truly is! Hearing this annoys Madara, and he launches one of his... Uh, true sticking orbs at Naruto, just for Naruto to grab it with his hand and crush it. Naruto says, I can do that too. He creates a true seeking board, at, uh, a true seeking ball orb, I mean, nothing, out of nowhere. And he launches it at Madara. Madara launches his own back, and when they collide, Naruto's one absolutely swallows, I mean, swallows Madara and sends it flying back at him. Madara gets his stomach impaled by the tree seeking orb, and he looks down, holding onto his stomach. What? In impossible. I'm Madara Uchiha, the legendary, the legendary Uchiha, the shinobi who would unite it all. Madara's skin colours quickly return into normal, as the white scales that were surrounding him before quickly seek out of his hand, and it's concentrating to one point. That is the ten toes pure spirit but doesn't matter it's floating down towards the ground Naruto launches up to catch it but out of nowhere Kamuri pool opens and a bee who has been unknown no one could find this location until now appears and he grabs onto it absorbing it exploding with power this is even stronger than when Madra did it for some reason it's almost like there was a godlike power and this was because Kage was attempting to take over, now that the Tsukiyomi had been activated. Kage was attempting to take over, but where it was quickly changed, a portion of her power had been taken, and she'd been held back for approximately 5 minutes. And that power was absorbed into Obito. Obito opened his eyes, with the running gun activated. And he says, so this is what true power is. He rushes at Naruto, and Naruto barely blocks it in time, but he does. Naruto is running on Steel Red, and he decides to use some other ability that he's taking a guess he can use. He puts his hand to the side, and red, some red part of like red matter appears. He soon realizes that this is his running on ability, making weapons. He creates a chain that is bright red. We know that Otsuki can Otsuki 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 Otsuki. Oh my god. The Otsutsuki clan. Yeah, I did not look up how to pronounce it, I promise. Yes, we know that some of them can use this. And Naruto wraps a beetle in a chain, just for him to explode out of it and rush towards Naruto. Naruto starts getting his ass beat! Mainly because he didn't want to go too crazy, there's too many people near him. 
And as he's taking more and more punches, although they're not really damaging him, it is a bit demoralising or mainly pissing him off. And just before another punch lands, Obito and Sasuke swap places, and then everyone who was standing too close get teleported away, even while still being wrapped up in a tree. That's when it happens. Sasuke lands next to Naruto, with not only his internal Magenko Sharon gun unlocked, but also his running gun with Tomoe. Naruto sees that pattern, and he looks up, and he gets unlocked in his screen, but only in red, and he clicks it. His, both his eyes become red with Tomoe. Tomoe. Similar to Naruto, what Madara had in his forehead. Seeing this, Sasuke doesn't even question it. And Naruto pulls out his vial that has extra Renegon in it and chucks it at Sasuke and says, swap your eyes about. Sasuke at first refuses. Then Naruto slaps him, rips out his eye. Sasuke screams. Naruto pulls out the Renegon and the Sharingan and just slams them together. Using his newfound power, even though these are crushed, he combines them. Remember, he's the new sage of the six paths. And creates new life with it. Is then... Then there is another Renegon t- with Tamari. And he slams it into Sasuke's face. He says, there you go. So now you don't need to lose an eye. You get all the abilities with it. Sasuke now with two Renegon standing next to Sasuke. Abita is laughing. <laughs> the plan was for only one of us to have a Renegon. But now in this past hour, there's been over four people who have activated their Renegon. Incredible. This surely, this war surely is going down in the history books. And the fight begins. Naruto and Sasuke actually start beating a beat about. And it's quite easy for them. Over and over and over again. It's just happening and happening and happening again. A beat is losing his mind. He's taking punch after punch after punch. Naruto using all his Magenko Sharingan abilities. Putting a beat in Genjutsu where he's seen Rin. I know it's messed up. A beat is broken. And by the time two minutes go past. I mean by the time four minutes and 55 seconds go past. A beat is laying on his knees defeated. They think the war is over until Abita starts to bubble up and explode into Kaguya. She looks down and sees the narrator. She hates him most of anything. She can sense her grandma in him and she rushes at him. The blow that she throws at Naruto is quite powerful and nothing he's never felt before. And he wraps around her arm and grabs onto one of her horns and snaps it off. Kaguya screams, launching... Just an insane amount of wind, tra- like nature, wind nature release everywhere, slicing the entire Naruto's body up into little bits. And she- Naruto's lifeless, mutilated body falls to the floor. Everyone watching this is just in horror as Sasuke breaks down. Kaguya begins laughing, saying, Finally, my sons, they will die. Then she snaps back into reality. There's now an entire chain wrapped around her neck and a blade pushed through her stomach. It was all a genjutsu. Kaguya, the god of chakra, falling from Naruto's genjutsu. She's pissed. Her Byakugan activates as she makes these chains disintegrate. And she says, let me show you what a real Otsutsuki can do. She roars and screams infinitely, creating more and more and more sound waves. The ground beneath, the ground beneath them is cracking, breaking apart. Something is different about Kaguya, she shouldn't be this strong at all. And that's when Naruto with his Renegon activated, see he can see a weird link. He slams his Renegon to the final form. It's golden, there's an eye on his forehead, there's blue sparks in it. And he looks up, he can see the trail just floating to the sky. Being Kagi is being powered by something otherworldly. And that otherworldly creature has targeted Naruto. Naruto knows he can't waste any time, and using his ultimate move, he places his hand down. His eyes begin to glow as rainbows of colours irradiate from Naruto's hand until it all turns to black, and I mean pitch black. And Naruto says, Void. He teleports behind Kaguya, places his hand up, and she gets sucked into this infinite black hole. And Kaguya is defeated. That was a lot easier than Naruto thought. 
a lot lot easier that's when he feels it he's been hit out of his own body hit out of his own soul and he's flying through time flying through dimensions and he finally ends up in what he believes to be the Otsutsuki world kneeling before a throne the throne of the Otsutsuki king and other than that guys hope you do enjoy that is the ending Yes, I'm ending it on that sort of cliffhanger. Other than that, guys, if you do want to see a continuation, you have to hit a like goal of 1,000 likes. And I know you're not going to be able to do it. That's why I made it such a good cliffhanger. Hope you guys do enjoy. Did you did enjoy the series? Give me recommendations. It is the end of the series. Hope you do enjoy, guys. Peace out, love, and... Other than that, enjoy. Bye.